Hi there, Lloyd Macedo speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com. Who is Lloyd Macedo and think personal branding? Today, I thought I would just share with you <laughs> some of the hate mails and hate messages that I get from people. Um, it's pretty interesting. Um, I get them on my um, email. I get them on my WhatsApp. I get them on YouTube. And I also get them when I conduct surveys. So I'll just share with you some of the amazing uh, hate mail that I get from my followers or friends or whatever. So here goes, okay? The first one, this one is, uh, what does it say? You are a unmatured kid. You need to grow up and see what life is. Your suggestion cannot lift anyone. They are some bullshit, B-U-L-S-H-I-T. We can read from website. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, next one is, this one says what? Don't think that no one can advise you or you are more knowledgeable or earning money is the only criteria for success. I wonder what is your criteria. I don't like your attitude where you judge the success of everyone else with the amount of dollars he earns. Well, given the fact that I'm searching for clients and customers who have money and not freeloaders, what do you expect, man? Okay, next one. You may be earning millions. No, I'm not earning millions. But you're not doing any favors from any favors to anyone if you're writing articles it's because you want client you want client yes of course i want client because i'm staying in a forest alone and i needs client okay but don't pretend the group members that you own them i never asked you to join the group you can leave the group you may be having awesome knowledge and experience but there's no age of learning it's yes, exactly that's why i keep buying more books than anyone else i subscribe more uh, newsletters, more, I pay money for more courses than you, you know, any junior and senior, S-E-N-I-O-U-R, any junior and senior, S-E-N-I-O-U-R, can teach you lots of things. Yes, exactly. You also need to learn from senior how the pulling is. Sometimes I feel you need psychiatrist, at least do meditation. I do it every day. And I've gone to a psychiatrist for two years, one of the best in the Middle East. You need to you know, maybe go to him. You said you like people attention. Uh, who doesn't like? Why do you think I'm on social media? Then are you faking yourself to be happy? I don't know. How am I faking myself? I, I have videos of me crying. I have my videos of me abusing people, shouting, screaming. So I put all kinds of videos. So am I faking all of it? Because if you're happy and meditative, you will feel tranquility, peace, harmony. Um, well, I don't know if you assume that everyone who does meditation feels all this and nothing else, which I never felt in your videos, answers and articles, etc. Only few exceptions. Ah, so you did feel in some places. Gund. Okay. Next one. Okay. Don't rebottle old wine in a new bottle and sell. Okay. What do you want me to do? Invent something that nobody has invented. If you're learning engineering, you are learning engineering, which is old. And it's put in new one, new bottles, new textbooks and thought to the new generation. It's the same information recycled over and over again. Nobody's reinventing chemistry. Nobody's reinventing biology. Nobody's rediscovering something new every single day. So we are all learning old wine. Okay. People cannot be fooled always. Absolutely. I totally agree with you. They will get bored of the same thing. Absolutely. I totally agree with you. Create interest, find new topics. I don't know. What do you want me to speak of? Ballet? Or do you want me to speak on uh, uh, how to control cramps while getting your periods? Those are something new. I've never spoken about. But the problem is if I were to speak about that, I wouldn't get clients. And you being a freeloader, I don't think you should ask, man. Okay, next one. You are a real con man. An amazing con man. Thank you. I take that as a compliment because I'm not just a con man. I'm an amazing one. Stop pretending to be an expert because no one gives a shit. Okay. Doing some public speaking course in Dubai doesn't make you a personal branding expert. Eee. Public speaking course in Dubai, I did that, I think, for Toastmasters, which was for free. Did that for 16 years. I was part of them. Uh, personal branding, I just started uh, public speaking 16 years, personal branding 7 years, uh, out of which the only time I gave seminar was for 2 years. So, And the course I gave it was for free those days. Now I charge people for one-to-one -one consultations. I don't give courses on personal branding. So you need to get your facts right. Okay. You abuse your followers. You just ramble some copied content from the book. Well, 
Everyone does that. Everyone reads from a book. They pick up the best and they share. That's what I do. Your advice are dangerous. Stop that. Okay. My advice, focus, earn money, take care of your family, take care of yourself is dangerous. I tell people, don't smoke, don't drink, don't do drugs. That's dangerous. Oogie, oogie doogie. Next one. More examples of successful people or his clients who will testify his methods and mentorship have improved their life. So you want more examples. Very simple. Stop being lazy. Go to LinkedIn. Check out the 100 recommendations with their name, their designations, the company that they work, their LinkedIn profile, which has been there, I think, for, I think, five years, six years, seven years. So just do a little bit of research, man. Okay. So this was the feedback that I got from my group. These people follow me as my followers in the group and they bitch about me. Okay. Now, so now let's check YouTube. YouTube, number one, uncommon sense. Kya bagwas hai? Ooh, what nonsense. Another cheapster who can put shit on face just to be noticed. Well, actually, it's tattoos. I don't know why would I put shit. Okay. Next one. Fuck you. I'm local. <laughs> I'm very happy for you, my friend. He is from UAE. He's angry of that UAE video. Then Zahir Sabra, you dirty dog. Why talking shit when you look like fucking freak show? Ooh la la. Uh, well, you know, you want me to look normal? Then it's boring. Next one. A1 TV. They kicked you from you. Ha 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 ha. Poor Indian. What to do, sir? What to do? Give me some money. Next one. Uh, this is from Mohammed Al Nuami. Mohammed Al Nuami. Okay. Has five subscribers. You're misleading the people with the wrong information. I can tell from his face. He's the devil. And he's carrying big hates. He's carrying big hates to Middle East. <laughs> okay. I'll not carry. Uh, this one was uh, for the Khabib Connor uh, uh, video that I put. Renato Arauz. Khabib is a pussy. So I replied. And McGregor is a doggy. So I hope that answered him. This one. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck you think you look like? You're a freak. Good luck with your life, with your life looking like that. Oh, I'm pretty happy with my life. I got a loving wife. I got a beautiful kid. Okay. God of Sony with zero subscribers. You are a bloody chutia. My response to him, brother, I'm not a chutia. I'm a bloody maha chutia. After that, he didn't respond. Oh, this guy is a trainer from Dubai. He is actually a trainer. He has a Facebook profile. You can just Google him. His name is Amit Kaka. So, uh, you know, Kaka in our language means, you know, poop. Okay. Amit Kaka. He wrote to me. Now, I'm not bad mouthing the guy. He, this is what he sent. Okay. Amit Kaka. Uh, really sorry to say you are the most negative of all the people I've met. You've never met me, man. I've never met you. And a loser. You're just, you just think. Only you are right and the rest of the world is wrong. I'm happy that you're not in UAE anymore. Well, mate, you're also an Indian in Dubai. So you're not in UAE technically. You're just there for some time. Okay. The one who does not respect his country, India, and his own parents should not be respected anywhere, even if in the gutter. So you want me to support people who abuse children. You want me to uh, respect pedophiles, you know, uh, you want me to respect people who abuse, you know, men, women, and children. So, okay. Sorry, bro, you're a loser and nothing else. After that, he continues. I pity on those who hire you as for personal branding. Thank God you're not in the UAE and not in India. Better you live only in the great land of prostitutes of Thailand. Okay. If that is what you say. Next one. In life, you don't seem to have extended any helping hand to the needy. Big fake talks and big F words. You think you are the only God. My foot. Which foot? Sorry, bro. Now he calls me bro. But you're a, truly a loser in life and shall remain so in my life forever. I'm in your life. Okay. I will wait for one good positive sentence from you ever. But I don't think you're capable enough of that. Well, you're doing Amit Kakar. You want a positive statement. You're doing a good job taking care of those children with special needs. 
uh, which he is doing. And uh, I don't know how you learn money doing that because technically, if you're doing charity, you do not make money. So I just hope you are making enough money. Uh, the only thing which I would, you know, suggest to you, Amit Kakar, is stop sending people a message and then blocking them on social media. I know which company you're working for. I know your Facebook business group. I know all this, but I'm not going to badmouth you because you're earning your livelihood there. Just that it looks little cheap when you send someone a message and then you block them. I could have sent you a message from another account or somebody else, but I didn't choose. So anyway, all the best. This is for you. Okay, next one. Merciful warrior. He says, what the fuck is the green shit all over your face? You satanic prick. Okay. Well, I thought it was black anyway. Uh, next one is more of the same recycled videos. Well, maybe it's time you stop looking at my videos, my friend. Look at something else. Why use, you know, it's like you bring your face to someone's ass, ass will bum, and the person farts. And then you, oh, the smell is so bad. Stop bringing your face to someone else's ass. Simple. Go move your face to someone else's. Okay. Say for Shamsi. Salam walikum. Okay. Well, we all have bolus. We all have balls, but you are so happy with yours. Chicken balls. You hate. What's with balls, man? And chicken, <laughs> chicken balls. Okay. You hate Dubai because you got deported because you are fucking ugly. Lol. Ha <laughs> ha. Go fuck yourself. No leafer. Okay. Thank you very much. Safe Al Shamsi. Next one. Katia. Katia Rose. Katia Rose. Oh, wow, a man who dislikes the Me Too movement. How original. Congratulations on your horrendous face tattoos as well as originality of topic. Thank you very much. I honestly hope you have a daughter. I do have a daughter. You don't have to hope. Who has to deal with these issues? Don't worry, I'll teach her very well. In fact, I'm planning to teach her Muay Thai and how to deal with predators because I myself was raped and molested when I was small. And then maybe you'll understand how fucked up is it what you're saying with your stupid fucking video. Okay, I understand. I hope you get raped one day. I already got raped. Okay. And then you have to go to that rape kit as well as victim shamers. I already got raped and molested when I was a child many times over. So I don't know why do I have to get raped again? And then you'll have someone say you're pursuing legal action for the wrong reasons. Go fuck yourself, patriarchal piece of shit. Thank you very much. Next message from my hater. And this is Vitti Vinod, Vitti Vinod, what the fuck are you talking? Who are you? You don't even have an identity. So called fucker. Um, um, I don't know what the hell is that. Uh, that must have been for the Shah Rukh Khan video where I said his public speaking uh, skills suck. Okay, next one, Steve Chang, which is a fake account, I guess. Lloyd, please make a video on how to convince a girl for sex. Simple, just go ask the girl, yes or no, she'll tell you. So this guy is Omska Kaiser. This guy seems to be a loser. L double O S E R. Loser. Okay. He failed in Dubai. Make him feel negative. Sorry, buddy. Loser. Very good. It is not L O S E R. It is L double O S E R. Loser. Okay. What is the person? What is the point of personal branding if you're Indian? The invisible hand. I think you need to get an invisible slap. Okay. Melroy D. Mello. Loy Mesido, your language says it all. Your abusive language does not intimidate me. Anyways, you proved it. You're just another YouTuber who will be soon lost in the rapid changing environment. The movement, one challenges your... The movement. The moment, moment, not movement. The moment someone challenges your view, you turn into abusive language. Sorry, sir. I'm not going to follow you. I'm not going to follow you. Anyway, good luck. You're not going to follow me. Who asked you to follow me in the first place? I mean... I don't know why these guys, it's it's like they follow me, they check my videos and then they're like, I'm not going to follow you. Okay, next one. Asif Warai, Warai check or something. You're an ugly, stupid Indian as usual. Thank you. Okay, next one. Makau Mako. This fucking retard is playing the Western Army, that accent. But you are a filthy fucking, no, fucking filthy Indian. Sorry, sorry, sir. I will not speak like Indian. No, I will not speak like Westerner. I will speak like Indian. Nachi Ne. Just can't get past those stupid tattoos, man. Don't get past it. Okay. Uh, second last one. Pankaj Kumar. Loy Misido. What do you know about my earnings? What do you know? 
maybe I earn that much, I can buy you. I come for cheap, man. You can afford, anyone can afford. Just 1 million USD. Let me know when you can transfer it to my bank. Okay, and next one is Amir SK. Why your face became so horrible? Why? Because I knew I wouldn't be so handsome like you. So anyway, guys, these are some of the wonderful hate messages that I've been getting from all my fans and followers. Thank you so much for sending them. So if you have any more abusive uh, messages to send me, please put them down in the comment section below. I love, love to listen to your wonderful advice. And uh, to those people who still follow me, <coughs> who still, you know, part of my group and still bitching about it, that also in front acting is like so nice, but behind acting like, you know, talking shit about me, just think about it. You're a fucking coward. Your upbringing is so fucked up that you are thought that you can speak nice in front of someone, follow someone, ask them for advice, but behind them, talk shit about them. Here's something for you. If you really are a person of character and integrity, just come up in front and say, fuck you, man. This is what I think. But you'll not say that. Why? Because you want to take advantage. You want to take the benefit. You want to do everything. But at the same time, you want to criticize. And those kind of people never succeed. Take my word for it. You'll never succeed in life. It's not me hating you, but this is a fact because you lack the character for it. So live from LimeMissedia.com. Who's LimeMissedia? And think about some branding. Let me know. What do you think? In fact, you want to give me a couple of bad words and abuses. Go ahead. You'll be featured next time. This is me saying goodbye for now. Take care.